How to know if your thesis sentence is actually a thesis sentence. I'll ask you Would you be able to pick a thesis statement out of a lineup? If, say, it had accosted you in the park and uh, stolen your purse, well, hopefully it'll never come to that. Regardless, you should be able to spot a thesis sentence when you see one, and you'd better be able to recognize a pretender, too. Your thesis statement is one that sums up your entire argument. If your teacher is feeling particularly lazy, he should be able to read just your thesis and figure out what you're trying to say in your whole paper. Meh, I get the gist. Eduardo, one more mango passion, please. Your thesis needs to do four things. First, it needs to take a stand. Here's a sample thesis without a leg to stand on. A juice maker provides a person with a lot of awesome health benefits. Ugh. That sentence is not a thesis sentence. That sentence falls right over, spilling juice all over the place and staining your favorite shirt. Not my schmoop shirt. Second, your thesis needs to justify discussion. Honestly, is anyone going to want to talk about your awesome food juicer? Well, unless this is an infomercial. And if you call now, we're throwing Sean Connery in for free. Sean Connery is not placed. Then, no. Third, your thesis needs to express one main idea. Not two, not half an idea, one. Finally, your thesis needs to be specific. Hone that thing into a point so sharp you could poke somebody's eye out. Haha, <laughs> too late. Oh. Let's go back to that horrible thesis statement about a juicer. It's so dull, it wouldn't pop a balloon. What about this one instead? Juicing provides nutrients that a person doesn't normally get from their daily meals. Okay, well this one meets all four requirements. It takes a stand. It justifies discussion. It expresses one idea, and it's super specific. Now there's a thesis sentence with a leg to stand on, especially if it's been juicing. Sean Connery is not placed. Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video, How to Find the Subscribe Button.